Okay, so it's six weeks later. Uh, please excuse me, I'm losing my voice. Uh, allergies and pollen have been really bad this year, so I apologize. Um, hopefully you can hear me. I wanted to wait a bit and show you how they were doing since I had such a tough time in this area. And it appears that everything is really happy and this was the solution to the problem. They, they're all beginning to marry together and even the hostas that I split into several are doing really well, getting big. The Lamian looks happy, big leafed, which is good. Um, so I could always pick that up and move it out um, because it will probably try to, try to grow over the other plants. Um, which is what I'm planning on doing. It's just picking up and dividing if they do well. I wanted to throw a lot at it to make sure something took because I've been waiting years to have this area fill in <laughs> and nothing's worked. So now it's, it's, it seems like this was the recipe to raise the soil up a bit, make a rockery and everything. Sorry about that, we got cut off. We'll start again. <laughs> All right, so I will just tell you a bit about the plants. This is sweet woodruff down here that was blooming white when I was planting it and now just kind of turns to various shades of green. It's very soft and pretty looking. Um, I know it can be invasive in some areas. I'm not too worried about it here uh, because there's not really a lot of place to spread to. I also have it in other areas and I'm able to control it on my property. So um, I have a lot of ground covers that people find invasive, but I really stay on top of them. This is Halcyon. It's a blue hosta. Very corrugated leaves, thick. So the rabbit shouldn't, shouldn't like it. We have an autumn fern. These are golden tiara hosta. Lamian or dead nettle, some people call it. I have a few impatiens scattered out about through here for color. I'm not exactly sure what this hosta is. I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't pay much attention. So I apologize for that. I only have one of those. More impatiens. A purple palace hookera. Kind of a, a, a good old standby. They pretty much do good anywhere. There's more golden tiara pasta. They also are quite hardy. Easy to divide. There's another little fern in there and then another purple palace so a very simple planting but really what I had already seen with a few of the starter plants I had those two purple palaces and and this hosta was were doing very well and that's why I went in this direction and changed course from trying to just get lamian to grow here or grass. Um, as you see, there was a bit of sun when I first started this video, it's gone already. Each end down here gets about, this gets about 20 minutes of sun at this end and then 20 minutes of sun at this end. And then the rest of the day, there's no, this is the north side of my home and it's kind of in like the corner so there's just no light. And if you look up here, there's a, a willow, a small willow tree that is casting shade. And then of course we have the rhododendron tree that's been trained here. Um, and I will, I will run a video showing you that the, the rhododendron in bloom, it's, it's quite beautiful. And it just looks really pretty back here. It drops its petals. And then it's a mess because you got to clean it up. But, <laughs> and prune her. Um, but she just got done blooming. And she's all cleaned up. 
think two days ago I got her cleaned up. But I'm really, really thrilled with how this looks. And you see, I put a little bit of um, composted cow manure over here. And look at how that filled in. Just it's in, in six weeks time. It all filled in. I put some begonia, some impatient in there. But the dead nettle or lamian is doing spectacular. It blooms so beautiful with its purple blooms. It's, it's going out of bloom, but my experience has been it'll just reflush in a couple weeks with more blooms. It blooms most of the summer here. So it really, I think, tied it all together. And the rockery goes really well with the other plantings. Azalea's out of bloom, but the coleus is getting ready. I gotta, I gotta pinch that back. That's what it looks like from the other direction. Okay, well, I'm happy to have been successful finally in this area. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you have a great day.